Hi there, welcome to the Lad Mix Farm channel. It's Arthur here. Uh, today we'd like to look at one important aspect that sometimes farmers overlook, and this is hygiene. Hygiene is such a critical pillar in good farming that should not be underlooked. Actually, hygiene can define whether you're going to be successful in your good farming enterprise or not. You may be having the pastures, you may be having the breeds, but if you are not practicing proper hygiene, then it's going to be such a challenge as you try to grow your numbers on the farm. So it is important that you provide constant biosecurity on your farm. Don't allow members, especially, that are not from the farm to just access the goat residing premises freely. You'll find the tendencies of maybe workers bringing in visitors and who want to kind of casually walk over to where the goats reside. That should be stopped because you do not know where these people are coming from. You don't know what they are practicing out there or how they have been spending their day. And they might just come and just touch, you know, anyhow, or just come with their gum boots and you find there are carriers of some of these diseases and infections that you are not aware of. So if you put proper biosecurity at your premises, especially as you enter the, the goat residing areas, it will help you reduce on that. Now, it's very important that also you do routine cleaning of your premises. For us at Ladmix Farm, within the house where the goats reside, within the exercising yard, we ensure to sweep every after two days. Whether it has rained or not, the herdsmen will go in and sweep and make sure that the ground is very clean, very free of goat dung. They will remove all this and go and pile it somewhere. We of course use that eventually to put in the gardens and so forth. But what is important is don't allow uh, the goat dung to accumulate within the exercising yard or within where the goats, you know, reside. Inside, sometimes you'll find if goats keep on, you know, scratching down and sleeping, they also tend to create some kind of holes within the house where the goats reside, especially for those of us that are still using the ground. For us here, we have not yet built a raised structure. And so you'll find that if it's urine that is going to accumulate in a particular section, ensure to remove it and ensure that it does not act as a breeding ground for these pests to be able to access and create challenges. But also within the exercising yard, ensure to read it regularly, especially along the fence within the exercising yard. You'll find grasses that tend to grow and they normally are very vigorous and healthy. But remember, those are carriers of the germs because they are growing off the urine and the dung of the goats, and which is going to be a very fertile breeding ground for germs. Ensure to weed those out and make sure that the exercising yard is weed free, is clean, dry, you can just always ensure that you sweep it. When you do that, that means you're not going to see any challenges that will affect your goats regularly. And then of course, ensure that you do your routine deworming. It is important that as you begin your season or your annual programming, put in schedule to ensure that you vaccinate your animals. Please vaccinate your animals. Why do I bring it? Uh, because it will ensure the health of your herd. There are several diseases that affect animals in a particular region, depending from where you come from. Get in touch with your vet, with your district authorities who know about the common diseases that affect regions that are vaccinatable. Ensure to vaccinate your herd. Make sure you follow the schedule and vaccinate all your animals. It will ensure that they remain healthy and are not going to easily be affected by some of these diseases that are really avoidable especially if you follow the advice from the experts who will tell you how to, you know, go about some of these areas. Now, the other aspect, ensure to monitor the drugs that you have. Remember, as you start this enterprise, uh, for instance, for us here at Lad Mix Farm, we make sure that we have a stock of medications that come in handy whenever we have a challenge on the farm. But then we make sure that we check on the expiry date of these drugs, of these medications that we have on the farm. If you are not available, make sure that you have your manager who's very keen to look out for that and ensure that only those drugs that are within or that have not yet expired are the ones that are going to be used on the farm. Some herdsmen, you'll find if they are not very careful, can end up administering a drug or an acaricide that has expired. Not that he's doing it intentionally, but for him he thinks because it is there, 
it is safe, it is still okay. And yet sometimes some of these drugs take long before you get a case that you're going to apply that particular drug. Apart from these ones that are, you know, usually used on the farm, like the acaricide, you do not have a lot of challenges with them, but also there are these other medications that are normally used frequently. Those do not have challenges, but there are those other ones that are normally used to apply to rare cases or those cases that are not very common. Ensure to monitor for the expiry and if it is expired, remove it and get you know, a new drug. Also, sometimes you might find that if you have done uh, your routine deworming, sometimes you use a combination of drugs, let's say oxytetracycline. If you have used a big bottle and you've done the exercise and it's done, of course we keep this one so that in case there's any other need to use it whenever a challenge arises, you pick on that particular drug. But be sure to check it. If you take time without using it and it has been exposed to some kind of air within, it tends to change color and turn dark. Now, the expiry may be showing that it is still okay, but because of the handling, because of the way it has been kept, you find it's actually no longer healthy to apply. If you check some of these medications and they have changed color from the normal, just know even if the expiry is still indicating that it is okay, it is actually a spoiled drug on your farm. So it's important to check for some of these hygiene practices to make sure that you're applying only that that is fit to put into a body of an animal. And also to ensure that whatever you're applying has been kept safely and is safe to apply and use on your animals. Otherwise, goat farming is something, is fun. And once you get used to it, it becomes more or less second nature. Of course, every day is a learning experience. You will learn to see how to overcome some of these challenges. If you visit other farmers, uh, they'll be able to tell you how they, you, you'll be able to see actually how they do their stuff and keep on learning, you know, on how to do better. Thank you so much. This is what we have for you. And I hope you can put some of this in practice and improve on your heart out there.